Hey guys, how you doing? I know you've heard this a lot from me, but I screwed up. Uh, kind of a raw video. I'm throwing some footage together, uh, and I'm, I'm not going to edit it a whole lot, but watch and, and tell me what you think in the comments. No! Good morning guys i'm just over here at larry's um getting his clock all set up getting uh the, the trap trap traps opened up uh getting uh food and and uh and water i figured i'd show you what what uh what i'm feeding his birds right now so the feed that is available to me in, in my area is winter's cup volkman feed this is their depurative uh mostly barley um safflower there's some milo and wheat it looks like in there and then the other it's basically tmc um and that's a that's a, a a chicken chicken feed uh has some pellets in there and i mix that with uh it's actually 15 percent protein because that's what i had i wish it was a 14 percent or a 12 percent protein but um, I'm feeding a blend of both of those every day because I can't be at both lofts and I've got soccer and other stuff. I just, uh, really, I fill the feeder. Um, most of it today is going to be that depurative mix. And then I've got, I've got the other mixed in. Um, I know a lot of people aren't a fan. I scrape my loft every day. Larry's loft is not scraped. He's on deep litter. Um, his birds look and are handling and doing better than mine. Um, not saying that's what it is. It could be a bunch of different things, but for what it's worth. Um, and his birds uh, just get water from, from the hose and it's city water. Um, you know, maybe there's a little chlorine in there or something. I don't know. Um, but nothing else, no other supplements. I'm just feeding them regular winter's cup grit. I am adding to his water. Um, it's an oregano product and I do that on Saturdays, returning race birds. So that, you know, that's the only day they don't have this clear tap water. But I'll leave it like this. We've got Bensing Live set up, his clock set up and uh, we should be good. Hey guys, just a, a real quick, uh, just why I'm thinking about it. This is the kind of the halfway mark. Um, this uh, we'll, we're four races in um, to the season. We've got we've got four left. Hopefully the birds come good today. The weather's good. Weather's good at release. It's cooler. Um, a little bit of a headwind after they come over the pass later this afternoon. Uh, hope, hopefully we get birds around, uh, I don't know, 11, 11.30, should be four hours, we'll see. But next year, I, I was uh, talking to a couple people and, and, and some have asked. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I want to try to expand a little bit uh, and move, move Larry's Lofts over. Yeah, so I don't know if we change the name of the channel to Little Lofts on the Hill or Multiple Lofts on the Hill, I don't know. But it, it, it would be, uh, and, and what I want to do is try to tighten up the shipping window. So I, I would probably do two teams, one loft, uh, an early team for those that want to send early. And then the other loft would, would be for those that want to send late and try to get them within two weeks of each other. So the early group, I don't know, you know, if it's the first two weeks in, in March and then the later groups, the last two weeks in April or something like that. Um, one of the things that, that, that uh, you know, we kind of struggle with a little bit is, is holding birds back and, and um, until we get them all together, you know, adding birds throughout this whole, whole period. So uh, I, think, I think that'll help, help uh, a little more manageable and a little better for the birds, actually. So if you're, if you're interested, uh, you know, at the end of the season, I'll, we'll, we'll, I don't know, do a spreadsheet or do something and, and, and see if we can fill, fill the lofts up, probably get 60 pigeons, 30 in each loft. It, it might be, it might even be better to get 
you know, 10 guys in each loft, so each send three birds rather than just send one, but we'll, we'll figure that out later. All right, over at our loft, um, Red set this one out, obviously. Uh, Red's droppings look good. The other, obviously, the were pretty clean because it would just be droppings from yesterday afternoon. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the loft scraped out, get the clock set up, and uh, we'll be good to go. Well, shoot, guys, I'm, uh, I'm missing the race. They came earlier than I thought they would. I've been uh, doing some yard work, and I just saw a bird fly in the loft and check benzing, and we've already got five or six birds. So let me uh, let me get up there. Shoot, we just got another bird, and I missed it. I apologize, guys. We got uh, I got a wedding at my house in a five or six weeks, so I've got a million projects. Okay, let's see. Jason Jordan, 413 was first, then Firebird. They were probably on the drop together. Uh, seven seconds behind Robertson, then Cavender. ARPU, I believe that's Tate. Vita King, who's Vita King? Vita King 402, you guys, I'm sorry. And then Cody. So we've got seven out of 17 here. Looking for more. Hey guys, good job. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not good. Okay, wait a minute here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, <laughs> eleven. Come on, that can't be good. Who didn't clock? Um, I gotta put the I gotta put the phone down and see what the crap, crap's going on. Unless we got a bunch of foreign birds. Seven in the clock, seven. Okay, we've got seven in the clock and we've got 11 birds in the loft. Shoot. Hey guys, what's going on here? All right, so 741, this one on the feeder's not mine. Uh, Sent pides. Uh, shoot, I think that's uh, Kirby, and of course I'm kind of. They're not. They're not really used to me being here, unfortunately. Two pines. I think one came from Kirby and one came from uh, Thorpe. That bird was Foy's. Foy's, I believe, was Kirby. I'm gonna have to go get a go get a crate and put this bird in a crate. Um, so we've got two foreign birds, one with ours. Uh, one's Joyce. The other one says Fort Sutter. So I don't know. I don't know whose it is. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll grab it. I'll, I'll get a crate. But let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got twelve. And in the clock, we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
So there's one not accounted for, unless we get another foreign bird. All right, let's see who we got here. 741, that's a foreign bird. That bird's the foreign bird. Uh, HBG's in the clock. Oh crap, United. That is seven Chow Brothers. Sorry, Chu, that's my fault. I have no idea when she came in, but she didn't scan. She's in the clock now. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, comedy of errors here. I, I screwed up. I don't know where, what position we're in. I just haven't looked yet. Um, I was missing birds in the clock. I've got two foreign birds. One's a Fort Sutter and one's an Auburn band. That's not mine. It's not Larry's. It's one of Joyce's. Uh, and then I had a bird that didn't scan. Unfortunately, Seven Shaw Brothers, your bird didn't scan. I have no idea when it came in. It was within the first six pigeons. Sorry. I think we had five on the drop, only four clocked. Um, and they, they look they look good. Um, Time-wise, uh, you know, well, I haven't looked at the combine results yet. Remember that I'm on the short end, and so people have a good 20 minutes or 25 minutes uh, to clock. It's something like that. I haven't figured out exactly um, to clock after me and still win. And, and some of the guys that are further you know, probably longer than that, but um, don't shoot me. Seven Shaw Brothers, it's your bird that didn't clock. Um, the reason I think it was with the drop of the first four birds is because it overflew and landed right in the trap. Um, and it, usually that only happens when there's a group of them but they're within seconds of each other. Uh, Jason Jordan's in there. Oh, I'm getting another one. I just saw a shadow, not a bird. Oh, coming in, coming from the wrong direction and was really high. <laughs> Wondering where everybody else is at. Hey, buddy. They're in the loft, I promise. Tenth bird in, ARPU. That was the dark check. That would that that was the one that I thought was Tate. I think Tate sent the dark check. So that's, I think that's Tate's bird. You guys, I'm sorry. All right. Um, if you look at the birds, it looks like some staining um, on, the, on their, on their uh, around their sear nose or whatever you want to call it. It's actually not. Um, it's a product that I'm putting in the water. It's that... Uh, product that Frank McLaughlin recommends and I, I do it when they return from the race it's an oregano product but it's a little bit oily and so it, it makes that mark you can see where she stuck her head all the way in um, but back to oh, three that's one of Larry's birds that shouldn't be here uh, that's our other Fine. Hey, buddy, you don't belong here. You're so close. You need to be. You need to be a mile east, or two miles east. Is that east? Let's see. North, south, not east. Yeah, I don't know. Larry's is southeast, out that direction. Out that direction, buddy. You need to go up over that rise, just two miles, and you're home. That bird's going over the hill. That's where we where we wanted to go. Um, sorry. Uh, so that's our other Nash bird, Lee Thorpe, um, and Wade Stoker, 11 to 12. Oh, I 
guess I can go back to the results. I'm sorry, dude. This video is rambling, guys, and I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to post it. Um, our first bird in the clock is Jason Jordan. Uh, then Fire, Robertson, and these birds are, uh, you know, seconds seconds apart. Those first four, and I think I think Seven Shaw Brothers is probably in that group. Um, I think I think we had five on the drop, but they're, uh, you know, Jason Jordan clocked a second later. Firebird clocked seven seconds later. Robertson. And then two seconds or three seconds after that, we had Cavender. All right, it's going to be kind of raw footage. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, put it all together. And, and you, you'll have to check uh, check the results. I've got a, a soccer game i got to get to and, and finish some finish some chores. But I'm, I'm happy with, with how the birds are coming. Really good, great conditions for a race. And that's what we needed because we've been sitting for a couple weeks. I'm not sure where we're going to fall in combine wise, but those first four birds and, you know, seven Shaw brothers should probably be in there. Um, five positions, I think, in the club. So that's, that's good to see. Um, and and uh, part of why this works, guys, for me, flying out of this teeny loft with such a small team is I've got a, a really great loft, can, loft location um, in respect obviously to the trees and the surroundings, but also with respect to the other lofts. So the birds are flying kind of over my loft to, you know, to get to the others. Um, and that's why we had three, three strays here today. Um, two trapped in, uh, the one Larry's grizzle, he, he went, uh, he went over to Larry's. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope if you're racing, you get good returns and I'll, uh, I'll post an update to the community page. Once I find out about combine results, take care, everybody. Hey, tiny. Hey, Tiny, how you doing, buddy? She's little, but she's still coming. She's, uh, if, if we're gonna give an award to the most improved pigeon, it's gonna be Tiny. Hanging in there strong. This is our first bird. Hey, take it easy now. In the clock, it's 413 Pine. This bird's from Jason Jordan out of Texas. Doesn't like to be held. Come on, it's okay, buddy. Um, good looking bird, has a full wing, I did not pull tail feathers, I did pull ninth and 10th, the tips are a little worn, but it wants to get up and get in the loft, but this is the bird from Jason Jordan. This bird is fire. 21, Firebird Loft. Good looking bird. Also has a full wing. Robertson Family Racing Pigeons, 212. Little blue check. Little blue check hen, I believe. I'm doing this right in front of the landing board, and so they they see it, and they want to go over and trap in with everybody else. But good-looking pigeon. This pigeon was one of the last to arrive. One, two, three, four. They all are, they all are grown in. This is from Cavender Loft. Cavender Loft to HBG 304. This bird also has a full wing. This bird's United 24409, the little hen. Another hen similar to Robertson's. They're both similar size. And again, she's got some marking there around her nose. That's from the oregano product when they drink. It kind of, it's got a little oil, oil to it. We're going to go ahead and put 
her back. Um, and unfortunately, I think she's seventh in the clock, but I think she was on the drop with these others. All right, over here, just taking a quick look at Larry's loft. There's the little white grizzle that was over on my loft. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 birds. I think he shipped 13. All right, we're going to go to list. Let's go to the first one. Uh, 2808. I don't know who those are. Five is Firebird. All right, how you doing, guys? This bird, 2808, is Larry's first bird on the clock. I think he's uh, fifth in the combine or sixth in the combine. I believe this bird is from Lee Thorpe. Uh, Nash, 2808. Good looking little hen. All right, this pigeon is Firebird number five. This was birds, Larry's. This was second bird in the clock, but they were on the drop, three seconds apart. I'm thinking this is a cock. Buddy? He made us 132. Bird from Silvio. Good looking pigeon growing in its eighth flight. Ninth and tenth are grown in. Eighth, eighth is eighth is right there. The molts uh, with these guys. Um, kind of slow molting um, with our heat. We had we had like two or three weeks over a hundred degrees. I mean, it, it, it uh, our weather kind of, I think, mess, messed the birds up with the molt. But this bird came in at three, so I'm sure they were on the drop, the three of them. But Larry's first three birds, 11.06. All right, looking at the combine results for the A race, I believe everybody's clocked. So these are good positions. Unofficial, of course. We had four on the drop. Uh, these birds are separated by 10 seconds. We've got Jason Jordan. We've got uh, Firebird. We've got Robertson. And we've got Cavender Loft. First four positions. I think there's a fifth bird in there, Seven Shaw Brothers. That's my fault. I screwed up. Um, I didn't get him in the clock until a little later. But we keep scrolling down. We've got Larry with the drop of three. Bam! Uh, I believe that first bird is Lee Thorpe. Firebird's in there again. And then Matus. And those birds are trapped within three, four seconds of each other. So we had a really, really great uh, great week. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, with how this turned out. Hey guys, we're going to call this a wrap on the video. Uh, can we call them equal first? I don't know. Um, just because I didn't see it. That's my fault. Uh, but we'll get them ready for next week. And uh, we've got uh, four, four, four good races left. So hopefully we get the rest back. I hope everyone racing this weekend is, has good returns. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.